Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. This week I'm going to vlog bits and pieces, a bit of work, a bit of home life, a bit of food, and maybe even some house updates as well. So take you guys along for some bits and pieces. It's Monday morning, I'm heading to work today, so I'm gonna quickly get ready, do my makeup routine, and show you guys some of the products that I've been loving. So firstly, I love using this as my um, base instead of foundation for like work days. It is zinc based, zinc oxide. So it's giving SPF coverage. It doesn't officially have SPF like a number of how much protection because I believe the product is still undergoing testing to get its, or like it's a bit of a process to get the SPF rating, but it does contain a high amount of zinc. So rest assured, I am getting some coverage. And then with a wet beauty blender, I'm like, this one is so old, I really need a new one. I just like to tap it in. I use this for like all of my foundation and stuff so I find even like this the residual foundation in it is quite nice <laughs> this is my favorite foundation for like full makeup look Fenty Beauty but yeah just when I'm heading to work I just use this because this also contains titanium dioxide zinc oxide and acetyl tetrapeptide too look at me go back in my biochem days next thing that I've been loving lately is these cloud compacts from it's all fluff and these are really, they just like, that packaging, like, I just love it. It's so cute. Um, but this is their bronzing powder, and I use it as, like, a contour. Like, I use, like, a cream contour if I want to, like, do, like, a full glam look. But this is, like, my everyday blush. It's blush. This is my everyday bronzer, I should say. And I just frame around the face, around the hairline, and then I also do under the cheekbones, connected up here. Need to do a little bit of a mecha haul and get some new brushes and things. But this, I also use to do a little bit of contouring on my nose. They also have these cloud, like smaller cloud compacts for their lip oils. This is amazing. This is the shade, I think it was number four. I'll put the shade number on the screen. So it's kind of like putting a little bit of lip gloss on. My other favorite purpose for this is using it as a cheek tint and because it's like an oil, it's really nice and hydrating. And I just feel like it blends really nicely. So I usually just like tap it on with my finger and then I get a brush and really like blend it. Um, the other step of my like everyday makeup, I like to always fluff my brows up. I sort of go between using this, which is like a brow soap, and this, which is a brow setter. This is really old. I think I need a new one. Anyway, kind of does the job. Another favorite product is this. I like using a brown liner. So this is a brown liquid liner. I'm not going to do it today. Actually, maybe I should do it. I'm going to do it off screen. Okay, I always do one eye better than the other, but that is the liner, just a like small natural wing. I just love adding some shape to my eye. This is again Benefit Brown. It's actually a tinted primer for your lashes, so it's basically brown mascara, but it's not heavy at all. It's very natural, like it doesn't give like a heavy, thick, clunky eyelash, which is what I love about it. I'm going to do it off camera and then show you. So that is my lashes next to my hair. I'm just going into work, so really, I don't even always do a makeup, but I just find when I do my makeup, I feel like more ready. I don't know, more like, I just feel better, you know? I get dressed, like out of sweats, put some makeup on, brush my hair, do something with it, and I just feel, you know, ready to tackle a work day. Okay, let's go downstairs and have some breakfast. Newly into barbecue sauce, which is weird for me. Yeah. Courtesy of Alex. Oh, and Bowie, what do you got? What's that? What's that? You stole my other piece of toast, didn't you? Where? Just then, and you got smoothie. Toast. What did you got? Party bag. Where? Chocolate, yep, not having that for brekkie. <laughs> After. After, and what's that in the cup? Smoothie! And it's Monday, so it's Nin Nin Day! Where'd you go? Yay! Go 
Look how clever you are. Are you clever? So I am sitting at work and been here for a few hours. Monday is my get through my emails and kind of touch base on all the different things. I need to do so it kind of varies what I'm up to at the moment I'm working on editing my media kit um, and I've been designing some packaging for some new products I thought now would be a good time to do a quick little update about our warehouse because I left that out of the Q&A which I posted um, a couple of weeks ago warehouse situation we're currently still in our original one which we've been like busting at the seams from like two years um, we bought from a new development 18 months ago, which you guys probably know about because I've spoken about that multiple times and we've just been waiting for that to start building and finish building, fit out, move in. So 18 months down the track and they've actually decided to cancel the development. So we won't be moving into that one and won't actually be purchasing in that development because it's cancelled. So we're not fully back to square one because a few months ago we actually decided to lease a warehouse anyway. It's also from a new development. There's a bit of a running theme here that I should try to avoid new developments because they usually entail delays. Um, so we're supposed to move into that one in March and then it got pushed back to April, then it got pushed back to May and now we're getting told June. So we should be moving in June and the new warehouse that we've leased is like three times the size of the current one we're in. So it should be enough room for us, we hope. Um, and we've got like three storage sheds down the road. So hopefully we'll be able to get rid of those and just all be in one space, which would be much better flow for us. Um, and then this office space up here will be, I think it's like triple the size of what we're currently in, which will be so amazing because we're all kind of on top of each other here. And this is a lunchroom as well. So it just kind of feels like everything's on top of everything. But looking forward to that when that finally happens in terms of buying a new warehouse, because obviously we were waiting on those ones to be ready. And I had really good plans for like fitting that out. I wanted to build a beautiful kitchen in the upstairs area. That could be like my work kitchen where I could film and create all my recipes and like cookbooks and videos and things. But now that's obviously not happening. So I think I'm just going to put the brakes, honestly. Sit tight. We're building a house at the moment. I'm just going to sit tight for a year and then reassess what we want to do. We'll lease out that other one that we're moving into for a year and then see how we feel after that. It'd be nice just to like decomplicate things for a little while and just see where we're at in about a year's time and what we want to do if we want to decide to buy again. But yeah, I'm a bit scarred from that purchase. So I think I'm just gonna, yeah, sit back for a bit. So I am packing up to head home, but I quickly wanted to show you some samples that arrived. We have been dying to make like, silky sets and after many 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 fabric swatches and samples finally found one that I like it's kind of hard to show but I've been looking at this stuff for months so let me tell you that this is a delicious fabric soft it is a cupro blend and yeah we've just been back and forth for so long trying to find the right one um, but I love it so this is a sample that's not quite right. The sleeve wasn't made right on it, which is a bit annoying. But we really love the fabric and the rest of it's really good. So I just wanted to give you guys that little sneak peek. There is matching pants, which I just had on with a little cami. Cami, is that what we're calling them? What are we calling the singlets? A tank. Tank, with a tank, not a cami. These are the matching pants. So we wanted to sample our Java pant in this. So this is our Java pant cut in this silky fabric and it's so delicious. This is the Java pant, but in linen, which is what it came in for our last collection, but we sampled it in a print, South Laura print, but guys, you probably will not see these produced because we have made the team decision to go against this. So if you love it, I'm sorry, but at the moment, we don't think we're gonna produce this. So it's linen, it's a bit black. We did design for this color to not be so like, strongly black a bit more of a washed charcoal but yeah just with this and we have a matching linen blazer we just felt like it was like a lot on plus we have this exact print getting made up or sampled in that silky capri fabric um, and we feel like that's just stronger of an item and having 
the print doubled up like in pants two pairs of pants a blazer and a top so like it was too much and we just got to make some tough decisions and this one has been voted out by us all <laughs> they are really cute though so that's that sample the blazer as well is just like a completely new product for us and they're very expensive to make so we just feel like it's a bit of a risk we are in our experimental phase with designs like we're doing a lot of experimenting seeing what works what our customers like what they don't like and what does well for us so we're having a bit of fun with that but yeah i'm going to show you those samples i'm heading home because i'm going to go for a cycle so this month i challenge myself to want to do 30 rides in 30 days if i do like an extra 10 <coughs> i'm counting that as an extra ride so i can have a day off Okay, I'm doing hits, so I gotta, gotta go. All right, recovery. So, it's like a week into May, and I had the first week off, because I'm obviously, I've still got this going on. I had to wait for the pin to come out of my finger, and then I could get it wet. So I started a week late. But I just wanted a little, little May challenge to just like reset me and get me inspired. Last set. What are you doing, Zimmy? Are you having some food? Hey, have this. Excuse me, Bobby, are you the same shirt as your sister? No, that one dirty. That is dirty. Why? Is yours dirty? <laughs> nope. Is Zimmy's dirty? Yes. You reckon? Yep. Just a little bit on her sleeve? <laughs> yes. <laughs> don't, don't. Is your dirty your face? Bobby, what have you got? What's in your hand? A book. Oh, a book? What kind of book? Sucking sights. A what? Sucking sight. Come and show me. Put it on the ground here. What is this? It's almost... What is it? I don't know what that is. You don't know what that is? Show what? me. Hold it up to me and show me. I'll read it. What is it? It's is it a, a catalogue? Yeah. <gasps> What's inside the catalogue? Oh, lots of things. Are you picking out some presents? Yeah. For your birthday? No. No? What for? For no one. For no one? What's your favourite? I like Zion's book better. You like, you like Zion's book better? Yeah. Is it not exactly the same? No. It's yes, different. It is. It is. <laughs> it's just you seem to be able to find things in Zion's book, but not in your book. Mm. Just got to turn the page more. Mm, I think it's the um, psychology of a toddler. Always wanting what they don't have. <laughs> oh, that one. What's that, that one do? Was that it? Oh, you've got something like that. Don't you? No. And we loved this one too, didn't oh, that's we? That's a digger. We love a digger. I think Odie likes it too. Is that the crane? I think that's the crane that we looked at. Yeah. Should we run the pool for Zimmy? Yes! Good idea. Bowie, this is core memories right here. This is like a photo book. Circa 93. I'm looking at right here. Drop. 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 Down. Drop. What are we making? Oh, spicy noodles. So I'm in charge of Bowie's dinner tonight. It's going swimmingly. What have we got in the plate, Bowie? We've got some dinosaur na nanu pasta, dinosaur Drop. pasta with butter. We made it like a mac yeah. and cheese, haven't we? He wanted some sauce. I'm not really sure what to go with, but anyway, we've got some berries. This has found its way onto the plate too. Croissant. That's yeah. amazing. I put that there. You're a little beige man, aren't you? Why? Because you love beige foods. Do you want some more? And he's drinking milk, so this is just amazing. Yeah. So many vegetables to be hold. So How many vegetables have you got on your plate? One. Yeah, show me. Two, three, four. Four vegetables? Yeah. And sauce? Mm. Mm. All right, let's go sit down and eat dinner. Mm. Zim's got a bottle. You just got her a dummy. Yeah. Why'd you do that? 
Chloe can make that. Because she was sad, hey. Mm. You are the best big brother. And what were we just doing? We were hanging out in the driveway as we do most afternoons um, with our neighbours and we did some beading. It says Bowie. My son don't have one. In Bowie's favourite colour. Lello. Lello. That's a different yellow. No, this is your yellow. How's dinner going? No. Good? No. You need me to help you? No. It's, no. Looks like we've gone a bit stagnant on the eating. No. See ya. How's this going down? You've eaten two croissants today. That's amazing for your health. Sit down. Uh, who? You. That goes in there. Hmm? That goes in there. In the sauce? Yeah. Croissant with tomato sauce. No. I reckon the French would be a little bit upset with you about that. Who? The French. They who? invented the croissant. Who? The French. The French. The French. The people from France. Let's look up the origin of the croissant. I might even actually be wrong. It originates from Austria. As the kipferl. Made from a yeasted wheat dough, the kipferl is a baked bread roll common in Central Europe. Who invented the croissant? August Zane. In France. France. So we'll go to Austria this summer, Bowie. What do you reckon? Yeah. What <laughs> now? Right now, on a plane? Yeah. Want a big plane? No. Zimmy? Mm. All right, here's dinner. Mmm. 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 You're at the dinner table, okay? So I'm going to make a delicious pumpkin soup because it is cooling right down. And this is one of my favorite recipes. I like to roast the pumpkin to make it it's sweeter and using coconut milk with some spices it kind of gives it like a little bit of a Thai um, flavor and it's just so yummy and warming and you just have to eat it with fresh sourdough. Do you want to have um, a pumpkin soup with mum and dad? No! Yeah you have bread with it it's yummy. No it's not. You're it. Yummy. You gonna have some? Here is my tip. A little bit of cinnamon on your pumpkin. And it adds roasted and then made into the soup. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. <laughs> um, now I'm not gonna salt it because I want to have it unsalted so I can give Zimmy some to try while we eat dinner. So I'd normally put a whole onion in it, but because I'm gonna attempt for Bowie to eat some of this tonight, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in. I don't wanna overpower it for him. Most importantly, we have some fresh sourdough, which is just a must with soup. Mimi needs to go to bed, because you didn't have an afternoon nap today. <laughs> yeah. Looking at yourself. Looking at yourself. Huh? Someone's teething as well, aren't you? You want to tell us all about that? You dip the bread and butter in it. This is this is a winter special. So we do do this. Hmm. Mm, have a one dip. Yeah. 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 That's what we all do. I found pumpkin soup in the middle. Did you? Did you? Yeah. I don't ever remember you having pumpkin soup when you were little. Yeah. Really? Really? 
I did diggers. Yeah, and someone else bought diggers as well. One, another one that you play with. I I licked that off my finger. What was it? A um, pumpkin soup. Oh, nice. Yummy, huh? Cheers to a cheers with that. Cheers, cheers. What do you like, Daddy? Ready? Look. That's mine! Oh, do you want it? No! You hold yours? Ready, watch this, right, Daddy? <laughs> you do a funny one. Go. Dude, I can't do that. Do you want me to make the noise and you do the hand? Ready? Ready? <laughs> Good boy. Then you go this quick before it drips. Mm. It drips on you. you know what else you're supposed to do with soup? Yeah. Like this. Spoon. And you get your spoon. And you go this. I can't do that. And then after you blow on it, mm -hmm. you go. Look, you can. Look. I can't do that. You no. can't. No. Do you want me to help, help you? No, 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 no. <laughs> 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 so, Bowie's at daycare. So there's no chaos at home, is there? No. I'm going to work though, aren't I? I'm going to have some brekkie and then I'm heading into work. We currently have one car. My Tesla is actually going to be ready sometime this month. Just waiting for the call up to say it's um, almost here and I can pick it up. <clears throat> it's glorious. But yeah, we've been sharing a car for the last few weeks, which is a bit of a struggle. Just more, no, not a struggle. It's a juggle. We just got to juggle our days. So I'm going to be going into work soon for the morning, taking the car. And that's Daddy's going to have some Zimmy this morning. Yeah. Who slept really good last night? We pulled out Bowie's winter um, sleep suits. I had the, everything six months and above. I had it up in containers above. And so pulled it all down and found some treasures to keep you warm at night. But she was sleeping pretty badly. I think it was just because she was not warm enough. Yes. Yes. Um, but yeah, I'm heading into work to do some work for the Wholesome store. Um, go over some designs for spring, just finalise everything. And maybe organise our next shoot. One breakfast cooked by Alex. lunch from Wazen. This is a teriyaki tofu bento box and it is so good. I went into work this morning with the intention of going for like a couple of hours and just touching base with everyone and then leaving. It is a wormhole and I got stuck there till 10 to 4 which I did not plan to do. I was honestly gonna leave at midday. Yeah I don't know where the hours go. Anyway Alex is gonna do daycare pickup so I can jump on the bike and ride because I was gonna come home at midday and do that. Basically I spend my day like talking to suppliers and just doing bits and bobs and I do a lot of work with my designer because obviously she designs the things but we bounce and I come up with ideas alongside her and yeah we really try to refine the collections anyway we're trying to get like finalize spring so like August September this collection will be the death of us it was at, actually initially our autumn collection and then we like decided to can that, well not can that, but like postpone that collection to spring because we felt the collection was more spring. Um, and then we just keep changing it, keep refining things and like we just keep having too many changes of heart on so many other things and this collection will just like, 
I feel like it's really holding us back in our timeline of design because we just keep spending so much time on it. We just need to just stop trying to perfect things and just hit go. I feel like I'm gonna lose sleep over this collection now because I still just like, I'm just not sure. I'm just so indecisive as well, guys. And for some reason, this particular collection is keeping me up at night. All right. I'm in my bodysuit. This is a Zep, Zep bodysuit. Let's do it. I think I'm gonna do a 45 minute ride. So I need to not waste any time because Alex will be home in like 20, 30 minutes. I wanna be cracking on my ride. Always make sure I have a hairband. Um, so once you click in to the bike, you don't wanna forget something. It's truly annoying. Water. All right, I'm on the bike. Water, headphone. I actually usually put a cap on at this time of the day because the sun coming through can be quite hot. Oh, I haven't grabbed my phone, which is annoying. So let's pick a ride. I'm going to go to classes and then I'm gonna filter my length. I wanna do a 45 minute, 45 minute power zone endurance ride. Music. Oh, we got Spice Girls. All right. Let's do this one. So I'm doing a power training, power endurance training. It feels kind of low key, but I have a feeling it's the endurance, so it's going to build and get harder, even though it's not like high intensity training. But I'm trying something different. To be honest, I'm more of an intensity person. I like things like fast hit style workouts. But I'm trying to mix it up this week. Hi, Dad. Hey, Mum. Hey. Hey. How's daycare? No, it's good because I cried there because I want Mummy to pick me up. Were you upset? Yeah. Because you wanted me to pick you up? Yeah. Oh, Daddy won the... Daddy and I have rock, paper, scissors. And he won. Who? Dad. When? Before. I said, I think he wants me to pick him up. And he said, let's rock, paper, scissor it. And Daddy won. Mm, so he got to pick you up. No, I want Mummy to pick me up. Oh, I knew you'd want that. Oh, well, it doesn't matter though. I said that, didn't I? He springs out. So happy grabbing him. He's just like, start bursting out. <laughs> oh, yeah, I look like a Do you want me to close my eyes? Go now, Bobby, go now. Oh, go on. Hey, Bobby, come now. Do I open them? Oh. oh my god, did you make this? No, I, I did it. Hand painted. <gasps> did you paint this for mummy? Yeah. Get, get the other two things, oh, Bobby. Bobby. That says Bowie. Yeah. Oh, did you paint that too? Yeah. Is this my card? Can I check it? We'll put the plant in here. In oh, you wrote this? Um, I did. Do you even think so? Oh. You made this? Who did that? You made this? You did that, Bowie. You made this? I I not made the front. I think you did. I think you did make this. No, I don't make in there. Oh, you didn't make in there. Did you cut this out? No. No. Did you stick these on? Yeah. Oh, can I have a cuddle? Feet squeeze. Oh, no, I'll take that off. No, 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 don't no, no, take no, it no, off. No, Leave no. it on. I've got to keep this forever. <laughs> Mummy wants to keep this forever. For oh, so much fun. Oh, I love you. Can I have a cuddle? Yeah. Hey, I want to say thank <laughs> you for my present. Oh. <laughs> Give me a cuddle. I just knew that he would get upset if I didn't pick him up because I said this morning I was picking him up. And Alex was like, no, you go ride, he'll be fine. He'll be happy that I'm there. And he was upset, apparently he cried. So he had his present for me. And I have so much guilt. I knew it. I should have trusted my gut instinct that I should have gone and pick him up. I was on the motorway and I was like, no, I should just keep going and get him. 
Like Alex mess rang me and was like, no, come home. Come home, I'll go, you ride. I feel horrible. I should have put my instinct for him first. Oh my God. Is he gonna eat me? What if I bite him? my day off with a ride which is actually pretty unusual I don't usually work out first thing in the morning before coffee anyway I'm gonna take you guys along today because today I'm getting my lips blushed lip blush tattoo I've been wanting to do it for so long <clears throat> and I'm finally doing it so I'm gonna bring you guys along basically it just like adds pigment to your lips over time it will probably fade away but I've just always wanted to try it so I'm gonna do it and I'll bring you guys along just started my day with a 20 minute rock ride, which is a great way to start the day. Feeling good. So I'm extremely sweaty. Um, and yeah, it's time to go caffeinate. I love croissant. This is really glamorous. So for the color on my lips, I brought in my favorite lipstick, which is this Sally Soft Honey Gucci. And then this lip liner that I love, Pouty by Becca. And like a peachy, pinky, nudey kind of color. See, this one's quite cute, mm. but this one's got a little bit more color in your lip liner. Mm -hmm. But how do they talk to you? I think good. Yeah, they're just trusting the process. Yeah. <laughs> no idea. Here comes the crazy girl. Here she comes. And she's bringing her hedgehog with her. <laughs> Our, our new couch arrived like two months early, so we didn't expect it. So the other couch is outside. I've got to put that up on Marketplace or Instagram or something, try to get rid of it quickly. Um, and we've got to set up our new couch. I'm excited. I'll show you guys when it's all set up. I need to show you guys my package. Well, Zumi's package she just received. And all these really cute nature baby clothes. I did a big shop. Zim needed some winter goodies. How cute is this little plum set? Zim, do not touch the camera, please, babe. You'll upset mummy. I got her some little socks. Merino. What else we got? Some tights. Um, I got lots of stuff that's like one year size because I feel like she's just getting so big so quick. More of this plum print. I'm obsessed. It's so cute. They do really good baby stuff. Um, more little long sleeve, but like romper, zim. Look at this little sleep onesie print, little clouds, I die. And then we have a knitted romper and a little cardi. I actually feel like I forgot to get one of the things. Let's unbox this other package that we got. It is a PR package from My Billy. And it is their new collection which launched today. <gasps> this is a package Stop. for you and Zim and Mum and me and, and all of us. Oh, we got some bang and bod. We have some curl cream. <gasps> we have some cocktail glasses from Bazique. We have French martini. So this is the new collection. Loco Feliz. Feliz? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it wrong. 
Um, we launched it on the Wholesome Store as well, guys. Oh, if they're sold out on their website. This is for Bowie. Huh. Oh, that's sick. Look at this. I like that one. That's cool. Oh, look at this. A green one. For me. Well, let me check the size. Yep, uh, three years. Bowie. Yep, three years. Both for Bowie. Oh, these are so Bowie. Look at these pants. Whoa. Look at oh, these pants. Yes. These are Bowie pants. Bowie. They are sick. Zimmy! She got the star pants. Yay! That's Yay. That's for Zimmy. Yeah, Zimmy, look. Bowie's telling you. What are you telling her, Bowie? See that. See that. This is also for Zimmy. I've got her a little dress. One year size, so she can wear it in summer. Oh my god. Pants for Mummy? Yeah! Yeah! Bowie, those pants are so sick. More pants for Mummy? Yeah, we're not Woohoo! Do you like them? And this is a like kimono top. I think. Like a wrap around top that I thought would look really cool with the either of the pants. So the couch setup has um gotten really far. Alex has given up. Put apart all these boxes. I love koala. <laughs> but he's um Struggling, to say the least. Zoom it all the way. Go! Wow! Okay, I am making, we are having friends over for dinner. We've just come home from Bolta. I'm making Mexican. So I'm making a guac, salsa. Um, and Alex is putting together the couch. We are having tacos for dinner. Ooh, late, but there is These are a little late, sorry, barbecue nice. edition, which is just coming from the barbecue. Day two. I think they're a little bit more vibrant today, actually. Yeah. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I got up and went for a ride at like 5:30, actually. Went for a ride, but like went stationary inside. Uh, did a ride. That's okay. It's Friday. Yeah. Bowie's off to where? The cabin. Yeah. And who's dropping you off? Dad. And who is picking you up? Yeah. Mummy. What am I doing when I come to pick you up? Uh, eat food. Yeah, we're having afternoon tea together for no, Mother's I Day. No, call that food. Okay, not afternoon tea. We're having food together. Afternoon tea and food. Yep. <laughs> it's like lunch. You know you eat food at lunch? You eat food at afternoon tea. And you eat food at dinner. And you eat food at breakfast. And you eat food at morning tea. Having a little hot shot. Oh! What do you think, Bobby? Oh! Nummy? Yeah. When I went to all that I had that. When what? When I bigger? When you're bigger, yes. That made me very, very um, good. It'll put hairs on your chest, that's for sure. Huh. So anyway, hmm? it's Friday. End of the week. What's mummy doing today? Working. Uh, doing some work, maybe. But I am going to be hanging with Zimmy. Yeah. It's my Zimmy day. Yeah, no, not my. Is it? Yeah. Where are we going right now? Coffee! Coffee! Tim's! And we set up the couch last night. Let's yeah. show it. Do you like it? It's big, huh? Mm. And there's all drawers down the bottom, so I need to fill it with all the toys. And then we can get rid of the toy box. How's that sound? Mm. And have more room for activities. Mm. Yeah. Yay! Yay! All right. I don't want to get rid of the pot plant. Just for sake for sale, if I want to. Zim, what do you think? 
It's a cozy little corner nook. What are you doing? Um, I saw an open this. You're trying to open this? Yeah. What is it? Mm -hmm. And that is, I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. So, we have these drawers. Yeah. Where they're filled with all the toys. And they're all at the bottom there. So we can store all the things. Bowie, is Dad giving you fashion advice? No. What's he saying? No. Well, your shirt sucks. <laughs> He's calling you Daddy. No. It's Daggy, man. Come choose some shoes. No. It just doesn't go with the pants. That's all we're saying. <laughs> oh, he stressed himself. Oh. And he's really proud of his outfit. Hello, my little baby Plum. Hello. <laughs> plum. Plum, 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 plum. Oh, groovy, Bowie. What do you want? Oh, Daddy. Oh, this is risky biz. Zimmy does think you're funny. You gonna drink it? <laughs> like a little ducky. I can't get How many little ducks went out one day? How many? Double yolk, guys. Double yolk. What does that mean? Is it your lucky day? Like a hole in one of gold. Who's having the double yolk? Shotgun? Oh, you can make it. No, you haven't. Freaks you out. out. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Is it weird? <laughs> Is that your favourite one? Oh. <laughs> mm. So, I am going to organize the toys from the toy box here into the drawers like do you hear that noise that's our dishwasher <laughs> it's ominous isn't it i don't know what's wrong with it it's been doing that for weeks or months anyway so we have drawers here and i want this to be where all our toys are kept instead of that toy box so we can free up more space these are so deep too i'm really impressed. and they're not on tracks but they just like they roll out on the ground. Excuse me. It's a really um, neat little setup. Should we do a Zimmy draw and then three Bowie draws? I don't know how to organize this Zimmy. Bowie's got that many toys. Um, let's do like a cars. No. <laughs> you know when you like start a job and then you're like, what have I begun here? Really opening a can of worms. Because once I start, I can't stop and I'm going to want to organize it all. And I'm going to want to declutter it. So it's going to take me hours. This is what I'm working with in the toy box. It is actual chaos. Oh, Zan, this is Dolly. Hey, Dolly. So my memory cards are all full. I think it's a sign that I need to wrap up the vlog, but I'll show a little update of my lounge room organization that I was doing. Okay, I'm down to making a puzzle. I need to construct this. Guys, these sorts of toys, like toys that have lots of bits and bobs, like shape sorters and like, you know, things with all these loose parts are great, except they're not because they just get messy. everywhere. They're messy. Um, parts get lost and yeah, just gets really annoying. Anyway, ooh. Empty. This is leaving. Um, I've put Zimmy's toys here. We're gonna move her mat here. <laughs> what 
We have a car and truck drawer. We have um, tools and Lego, that stuff. What's that called? Kinetics, animals. Okay, we have a stuffed animal drawer. And then we've got a wood drawer. Just gotta wait and put that puzzle in it and then we're done. This is also nappy drawer. I'm not gonna open it, it's not organized. And then this is our book drawer. Oh my God, the amount of stuff you have with kids. The amount of stuff we have. Simmy, that was going in the bin drawer. See, this is another thing. We've lost like all the shapes. There's like three shapes left. So, bin drawer, but she's loving it. And this cute stacker is gonna go up in her room because it was just hiding in a drawer, which is just such a waste. I can't wait to buy you to take him in his room. <laughs> Same. So anyway, I think my memory cards all being out of space is a sign that it's time to wrap up this vlog because it's probably getting quite long. Hope you guys have enjoyed coming along for my week. Um, well, on Monday to Friday, and I'll see you guys in the next week's video.